always look for the easy solution first when training your dog. Hi there. For those of you that don't know me, my name is Sherry Nativo and I am a certified professional dog trainer. And today you are going to learn three tips to help crate train your dog that don't involve you actually training your dog. So it's always good to start with the easy solution first. So what you're watching is a video that I was creating for my online program called the Dog Academy. We were, I was teaching crate training and I was using Winnie, the whippet you see in this video, as the demo dog. So Winnie is not crate trained and in the Dog Academy I use client dogs that don't actually know the behavior to teach you how to train your dog. So Winnie is not crate trained as you can see. So I'm using her as the demo in the instructional dog academy course to teach you and others how to crate train their dog and what i've done here now is i've sped up the video it's, it's normally a 10 minute video and i've sped it up because i want you to pick up on a little tip that i picked up on as i was crate training winnie so so <laughs> Winnie's crate training was taking a little bit longer than normal. So as I'm crate training her, she's not putting her back feet in the crate. So she's not putting all four feet in. She's putting two feet in and she's eating the food. I'm using a clicker and food to train her. But I'm not able to get her back feet in the crate. And so here's where the easy solution comes in. I do something and I just let the camera roll and this is going to help you with your dogs. So you can see there that that crate mat, it's not very fluffy. It's not very, it's soft, like it has plush on it, but it doesn't look very soft. And Winnie doesn't really want to go in there. I mean, she just backed out. So I am going to switch it out and bring a new bed and see if that helps. Look at her fight to get in there. So all I did was switch the bed in the crate and now Winnie is going in there and look at her all the way in and she doesn't even really want to come out. I have to lure her out and she goes immediately right back in. So tip number one for you is make sure your dog has a bed that they like. So dogs that don't have a lot of fur like Winnie are going to like a soft fluffy bed. So the other bed was soft, but it wasn't fluffy. Dogs that have a lot of fur, like a golden retriever, might not want a fluffy bed. They might not want a bed at all. They might get hot and they might just even like to lay on the plastic crate mat. Okay. So step number one, tip number one is find a bed your dog really likes and know what kind of bed your dog likes. Short haired dogs like Winnie is a whippet. They like fluffy beds. Long haired dogs, dogs with a lot of fur, probably don't like a bed at all. You'll have to determine that with your own dog. Tip number two is try a different crate. So Winnie had a bad experience in a plastic crate. So when I did this with her, I purposely brought a wire crate. So you can always switch out the style of crate. I want you to avoid fabric crates, but if you have a plastic crate and your dog is drooling in there, chewing it up, pawing at it, you might try a wire crate instead. And tip number three is you could try and cover your crate. So some dogs like the crate covered, some dogs like it dark. So those are three easy tips that don't require training that you could try with your dog if you're struggling with crate training. Thanks so much you guys for watching. Hit the subscribe button and put a comment below and tell me what kind of bed does your dog like? Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.